Hi again. In this lesson, we are going to talk about how we can use some materials to rotate the polarization of light, or even create circular polarization light. When light travels in a medium, it does so at a slower velocity than it does in a vacuum. Its phase velocity depends on the index of refraction. But there is also some amount of absorption. This behavior of light in a medium can be described by using a complex index of refraction, n tilde, equal to m plus i kappa, where n tilde is complex and n and kappa are real. n is the real part of the index of refraction and kappa is the extinction coefficient. This coefficient describes the absorption of light in that medium. If we write a propagating plane wave in exponential complex notation, if we now, instead of writing the wave number k, we write it in terms of the distance traveled to pi over lambda, but keeping in mind that we are in a medium of index of refraction n tilde, then we can separate this and find that the plane wave is multiplied by an exponential decay function, which comes to describe the attenuation due to the extinction coefficient, the absorption of light in the medium. When we covered a dichroic materials, we mentioned that those materials absorb one polarization but not the other. In that case, we had that the real part of the index of refraction, n, is the same for both directions x and y if the wave propagates in the z direction. But we can also have materials for which kappa x is equal to kappa y so that the absorption is isotropic, but nx is not equal to ny. This latter means that light polarized in different directions will move at different speeds inside of the medium. This happens because of the structure of the polymer or the crystal that have a differentiated structure depending on the direction. Then electrons will be able to follow better or worse the oscillations in one direction than in the other. Having it harder for the electrons to follow the oscillations of light will make that the index of refraction of each axis will be different. This means that the horizontal component of unpolarized light travels at one speed, while the vertical component will travel at a different speed. This way, depending on the thickness of the material, we can obtain a pi over a two phase shift, for example, at the end of the material. Then, back in free space, both polarizations travel at the same speed, so the what we have is circular polarization. So we can use these materials to rotate the polarization of light also. These materials are called birefringent, and the phenomena is birefringence. Materials such as calcite, quartz, or mica. The first difference delta phi between the horizontal component and the vertical component is then 2 pi over lambda naught times d times the difference in the indexes of refraction. Well, lambda naught is the wavelength of light in a vacuum. 
You can play with the thickness of the bireference material to obtain the phase difference that you want at the output. If delta phi is pi over 2, we have a quarter wave plate. If delta phi is pi, we have a half wave plate. If you put a quarter wave plate in one arm of a Michelson interferometer, the light in that arm will be pi phase shifted with in comparison with the light in the other arm. What do you think would be the effect on the screen of interference when light interfering has perpendicular polarization? May science be with you.